Adam Vaughan. I'm an LTA senior club coach. And this is Troy Bradley, who's a biomechanical functional osteopath. A bit of a mouthful, but I'm sure he'll explain a bit more later. Now, if you think this is just another how to improve your tennis video, you'd be right. But if you think you've heard this all before, you'd be surprised. Spend five minutes of your time with us, and you might see or hear something that will start you off on a path of steady and sustained improvement. Whether, like me, you're just on the wrong side of 40, but still looking to uh, improve, uh, or whether you're an athlete in, in his prime, like Troy, looking to develop his game. In spring this year, I'd all but given up tennis, and as you can see from these clips, my speed and range of movement are severely limited through a combination of chronic knee problems and a developing acute condition in both ankles. Luckily, I met Troy through a mutual client and we started to explore how we might cooperate, blending my technical expertise in tennis with his functional biomechanics. But it was immediately obvious that I should be one of the first clients for this approach. Function is, or what functional science is, and what you did at the Gray's Institute, and, and what this means. Here's Troy explaining what function is. Okay, well, function is just simply like any given task in all three planes of motion. We are three dimensional creatures. Yeah. We move in all three planes of motion, and we're very task oriented, we're goal driven. Right. I, if I need to pick up a cup from a table, right. I need to be able to control and stabilize myself to pick up that cup and then bring it back, right. Right. right? But I do this in all three planes of motion, but I do it from the ground up. Right. So I, mean, I think when we first started, walking was, was quite a thing. You looked at the way I walked and threw your hands up in horror. <laughs> okay, so um, in my case, uh, when I came to you, what did you see? Well, with you, we had to break you back down to basics. We had to figure out why your body was turning off certain muscles to try and control you in a certain plane of motion. In other words, where is your body compensating to actually create a mechanism for you to do the tasks that you wanted to do? So swap legs up. Troy identified my right foot and ankle as key areas of concern. And you're not really loading into your hip. Now, what I mean by the load again is how your force is dissipated in all three planes of motion, right? So, with you, it was your <laughs> with you, it was the actual ankle. So you couldn't allow the, the actual motion, which was called dorsiflexion, which is actually the flexion of your foot when I bend my knee. Okay. Now that actually didn't turn on the chain reaction of the muscles to load your hip efficiently. So that then you had to rely on more of your upper body to get you around, damaging more of your hip, damaging more of your knee. It took two sessions with Troy and some work in my own time to kickstart my rehab. If your therapist is telling you your rehab will take three months or six months, call Troy now. Um, but it was a platform for what we've done since, and that's the bit that, that I feel people will find more interesting. It certainly really excites me. Because I've seen, because I video my, uh, my shots. If I'd listened to physios and orthopaedic consultants, I wouldn't be playing now. And I've, I've watched my strokes develop, my ability to load and unload, and the force that I can generate from my strokes improve exponentially. Sorry, big word. Um, and, and that's the interesting part. It's not just if you have injuries that prevent you, or chronic, in my case, chronic conditions. Um, it's also having overcome those initially. It's the, the way that you can develop all of your strokes using biomechanical function. That's right. right. Yeah, that's right. You should be aware that this is not a silver bullet solution. It requires hard work and dedication, but the impact on your tennis and every area of your life make it time and money well spent. <laughs> We're continuing to work on increasing my range of motion in all three planes and strengthening key muscle groups to encourage more explosive movement. Now for transverse, take its hand, aim it between the flanks and going down. The impact on my tennis is twofold. Firstly, I've been able to develop my strokes, both in terms of technique and the force I can generate, 
and secondly, the type of shots I can now play and the tactics I can now employ. Forward step, forward hit, explode, explode, that's it, explode, good, explode, explode. Here's Troy explaining a little more about functional biomechanics. So again, in, in summary, you, you've got the correct technique, but your, your biomechanical function is impaired in some way. You're going to be unable to generate that force, and you may well cause damage to other parts of, 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 of the, the chip. That's right. So what, what I would like to do is give you the exercises to load you in all three planes of motion, to make you more efficient so that you have the power to actually come through without giving you any injury. Together, Troy and I can assess how to help your tennis by developing your technique through a functional biomechanical lens. At the end, I was able to generate a lot more um, force by turning into the ball. <sighs> Troy finishes by trying to explain the impact of gravity and ground reaction force. Well, when gravity is pulling us down, yeah. and we have the ground reaction force coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ability for you to dissipate that force, that energy that you're putting into the ground, and to load your muscles. So that ability, because falling is for free. Well, falling actually, is for free. <laughs> falling is for free. Right, yeah. you put your foot down and fall. Because <laughs> to, to go down, I can just relax, yeah. right? But I need to be able to control what's happening. Oh, right, so, so the gravity is pushing you down. Yeah, and it's the ground re reaction force that's pushing you up. That's correct. And so if you have it in your muscles to take advantage of that, you're not going to get the unload. That's right. right. Well, I think that's probably enough for now. So uh, if you need to get in touch with us, um, if you live in Brighton... Home, actually. <laughs> yes, home, actually. Um, you uh, use the number in the credits that you'll see at the end of this video and we'll be working on ways to, to reach those further afield. Thank you for listening. Thank you.